boy, it went by fast. It, it seems is a like. tad. But Halloween is now, it's coming gone. And now you might be asking yourself, is there such a thing as too much Halloween candy? My little brother, he has, it looks like <laughs> 10 pounds. And he doesn't more. even want to eat it all. He himself. doesn't want to eat it. He wants to give it to his friends. Good kid. <laughs> Good genes, right? <laughs> a local orthodontics office is taking some of that candy off your hands as well to help support our troops. Chris Buckley shows us how it works. Halloween at Pitts Orthodontics is always a festive occasion, but it's what they do after the holiday that really makes a difference. We've teamed up with the community and ITS Logistics and a program called Operation Gratitude. And what we do is buy back uh, candy from the community at a dollar a pound and then IT, ITS Logistics generously ships it back to uh, Operation Gratitude and Operation Gratitude sends out care packages to uh, troops all over the world. They'll weigh the candy right here at the office, pay you for it, and then it becomes part of the care packages shipped to our troops overseas. It's something they've been doing for the last seven years. We want healthy smiles out there and we want happy troops, so this is, this is a great thing that we do. Last year they collected 1,700 pounds of candy for the cause, and they're hoping to beat that number this year. It's a fantastic way, I think, for the community to get involved with helping our troops, and it's also a great way for us to maybe reduce uh, having a few cavities here and there. And more and more trick-or-treaters are getting on board. It's amazing. Kids bring in their candy. I don't know if they sell all their candy, but they definitely sell the stuff they they uh, don't like, and then they feel really, really good about giving back to the community and our troops. You can bring that extra candy here next Monday through Thursday and know that you're sending a little something to the men and women serving our country. Covering the story, Chris Buckley, 2 News.